Hey guys, Mickey the Money Shaver here. Today I'm going to be doing a shave review of Persona Blues that were sent to me um, in a PIF. Uh, so, as you can see, taking it out for the first time in a little white wrapper. And it says on there, Made in USA, Persona Super. Super? Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to be putting it in my Vanderhagen razor. Uh, so that's like the only razor I use right now. Um, and I'm going to be using it with Arco um, Shave Stick because it's Wife Wednesday and that's what my wife Stephanie picked. So when I'm not using it, I keep it wrapped in saran wrap to keep it nice and fresh. Maybe a little too much saran wrap. There we go. I do like the smell of this a lot. To me, it smells like um, sweet tarts a little bit. Yeah. So I'm going to use the brush to get my head a little wet so I don't have to go dipping my fingers in there. And I am dealing with um, a day and a half of growth. So I'm really interested to see how the Persona Blues handle that. My favorite thing about the Arco not only is that it shaves so nicely, as soon as it touches water it starts lathering. Like instantly. So I got that much on my head. Dip in the water again. And you'll see instantly lather. Getting all over the place. <laughs> And once it lathers, I mean, I'm pretty much set for my entire head shave after that. So I might have to reapply it once or twice, but rarely. All right, so I'm going to start with going uh, with the grain. Immediate thoughts is that I don't really get any um, pulling, which is nice. I definitely would get that with, like, the Astra's. Or I got it even a little bit with the uh, personas that I used last time. I don't know why I got this bowl out. I don't need it because I'm doing head lathering. All right, so feels pretty close for that. No nicks or anything. So I'm going to re-lather. And then I'm going to go this way across the green. It still feels plenty smooth, plenty comfortable. Um, those places that I get sensitive on the top of my head feel fine right now, which is really nice. Now I'm going to go across the grain the other way, which is that way. Yeah, so I'm getting to that sensitive spot right now and it feels fine. Uh, it really does. It doesn't even feel like it's a sensitive spot. Oh wow, it really took down uh, my um, cowlick. Just a little touch up because I always need a little touch up on the cowlick. Um, it's really taking the hair down though quick and 
Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to do against the grain. I'm getting a little toothpastey up there, so I'm going to add a little water. There we go. Oh, wow. That's very comfortable. Very close. Wow. Even on the sensitive parts. Wow. Don't even really need any touch up in the places that I've shaved. <laughs> I'm impressed, um, especially because I wasn't terribly impressed by the other persons that I got. Um, oh, I got myself. It's probably user error rather than blade, though. Wow, that's... So obviously with my cowlick, again, I need some touch-up, but... That'll happen no matter what blade I use. Um, I'm very impressed. Uh, you feel how smooth this is? Oh, you're not wearing pants, are you? Wow. Yeah, that's, nice. that's the Persona Blues. That might be better or equal to this, the uh, Perma Sharps. Um, I would say maybe the perma sharps are a little sharper, obviously. <laughs> um, you okay? But um, wow. The uh, personas did an excellent job, and the skin feels great too. Um, I would buy some of these along with um the perma sharps. Uh, I do, though, want to try the side of my head because sometimes blades perform differently on the side of my head than they would on the top of my head. Sometimes they work great on the top of my head, but then they suck on the side of my head. What'd you say? Oh, I thought you said something. Okay, I'm going with the grain. And I can feel it, like, not feel it, but like I can hear it just taking down that hair really well. A day and a half's growth. Um, God, if I was using Astra, this would be miserable. Hey, can you hand me my towel right here? When you get a chance? Thanks. My freshly laundered, fresh shaved towel. All right. Um. Now I'm going to be going towards the back, across the grain. Yeah, I'm totally dressed. Again, just going through the hair like butter. Okay, now I'm going to go across the grain towards the front of my head. I like um, the Arco because you don't need like a ton of lather, like you just enough to cover and you're good. Um, you don't need like copious amounts of lather like you do with some soaps, which is nice. It um. I, uh, I think it makes a really great soap for traveling because it's so small 
It makes a great so oop, I nicked myself. Um, it makes a great soap for uh, um, if you're already dressed, ready to like go out to work or something for the day. Um, it's really nice for that because then you don't have so much soap that it's like getting all over your collar and stuff. So that uh, that nick right there was user error. I slipped there. So I'm gonna get some witch hazel and just put it on for a minute. Um, if you don't use witch hazel, you totally should, or something like it. Uh, witch hazel is great. It stops the bleeding. Um, I would say it's the second best thing I've tried for stopping the bleeding. Um, the first best being taking a little piece of toilet paper and just sticking it on. Uh, I always thought that was, like, kind of a running joke in, like, movies and stuff. Uh, I couldn't imagine that that would actually work, but it works fantastically. All right. I think I've stopped bleeding there for the most part. A little still, but oh well. Um, all right, I'm going against the grain. Yeah. And again, so comfortable when going against, um, very comfortable. The more I use this, the more I really, um, I can't pinpoint why exactly, but I like these slightly better than the Perma Sharps. If I figure out why, I'll let you guys know, but... Because they perform pretty much the same, honestly. Um, and I wouldn't say it's like a comfort issue, because Perma Sharps are really comfortable too. Um, I really don't know what it is. Wow, that's a really nice shave. Uh, very close. It's definitely uh, BBS. Um, it's uh, didn't take much work. I didn't have to go over it a lot. Um, even the part that grows differently here, I don't even have to touch that up much. I do have to touch it up a little, but um, because again, with this little strip on the either side, against the grain means going like this. So. And that, that's a little uncomfortable, but that's a little uncomfortable no matter what I do with any blade. Um, although I think it was pretty comfortable with the Permasharp, so there's a, uh, there's a con for you guys. Um, but I mean, this is a very sensitive spot on my head, so I don't even know if I would, like, count that personally. Um... I'm gonna put a little more witch hazel because it hasn't stopped bleeding yet. Um, I um, I really like this blade. Uh, I'm thinking what I'm gonna end up doing eventually is probably getting some perma sharps and some persona blues, um, especially depending on the price. I think perma sharps might be a little more expensive. Or the other way around. Don't quote me on that. I'm gonna check it out on eBay and uh, see. Um, but yeah, um, it performed fantastically. I've got a really, you can see, wow, you can see where I shaved and where I didn't. Um, it performed fantastically. Uh, it's a really close shave. It's really comfortable. The skin on my head feels fantastic. And uh, I only nicked myself like maybe three times that's probably this one definitely was user error the two on the top probably were anyways but um that is one thing i ran into a lot less with um the perma sharps was i didn't really nick myself but who knows i could have had a more careful day that day um really i i um well no i guess uh I used the Perma Sharps for about a week. And I definitely nicked myself less. But I mean, 
I'm not sure that that... These are such small mix. I don't know that that really even matters to me. So um, I'm definitely still going to get some Perma Sharps, but um, I might actually throw some Persona Blues in there too. Because they are definitely um, comfortable, great shave, uh, really, really nice looking. I don't know if you guys can see, but where I've shaved looks fantastic. Um, so yeah, um, give these a try if you ever get the chance. And um, I think that's probably about it. Um, on another note, even though this isn't what the video is about, Arco is, I think, under $5 on eBay. Um, I've never used a shave stick before. I used this one. Um, this definitely made me want to try some other shave sticks, although I haven't gotten around to it yet. Um, I've heard great things about other shave sticks. Apparently, either you love or you hate Arco, but um, I love it. Um, I would definitely, for the price, I would get yourself some Arco. Give it a shot. Um, if you don't like it, send it to me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, if you don't like it, it, what, you're out $5, less than $5. So, um, but yeah, uh, peace guys.